is Tania and I'm here again with our weekly sketch inspiration in the Hip Kit Club Facebook forum. And as you saw there, there was our sketch for this week and I thought I could perhaps use that funky paper with the bees on it because it's really not a paper that I am all that... Um, oh, well I'm, I'm finding it difficult because of the bees, let's be honest. Let's just put it out there, the bees are I think a little odd to put on a scrapbook page but there we go and I took the banners behind the photograph uh, from the sketch and of course I've got a large photograph as well and then I got these branding strips and I put them there and now I'm thinking what can I do with those I like the colors I love the photograph it is obviously of my youngest and she's looking so pretty and she's got her phone which is one of her favorite items as we all know so yeah so everything is working well together and then I had this thought okay I've seen other people do this and I actually think that I actually think I have a punch that does this but I couldn't remember and I have a teeny tiny confession to make I did this layout the morning after being out the night before and as you know sometimes nights out get a little bit late as did this one mmm and by late I am euphemistically uh, referring to a little bit of wine as well so <laughs> you can't tell in the video because it's sped up a lot but oh wow well, I uh, yeah it was a tough one <laughs> <laughs> particularly threading threading these papers through the cuts here and the reason why I was telling you that is because I'm sure I have a punch which does this kind of weaving but for the life of me I couldn't find it and actually I don't think it would have helped here you see I was really battling there <laughs> I don't think the punch would have helped because I wouldn't have been able to get it onto the paper like that so so that probably is fine that I didn't find it but I am I'm sure I'm right in thinking there is a punch that makes these slits in paper so that you can weave paper through maybe I dreamt it I don't know anyway I did that for the three strips I've got there felt very happy with myself gave myself a thumbs up and then I thought I better I figured matting the photograph was a good idea because it just made it pop a little bit more and yes I had to strategically place it where those circles were so that I could get a mat all the way around and uh, yes so I'm now battling with the trimmer which is just great. Shame I actually dropped that trimmer at a, a crop I went to recently and I thought I had broken it so I duly went and bought a new one a sort of temporary trimmer because obviously you can't be without a trimmer at a crop and when I got it home not the new one the old one I realized why I couldn't get the old one to work you know the mat the white mat that the blade runs on I appear to have lost that and didn't realize it and thought I had broken it so yes one of those wonderful moments when I am ever so bright <laughs> So I've got that adventure awaits on the photograph. I'm liking that. I'm liking the banners. Now I just need to see if I can make the banners, you know, which way I want to put them behind the photograph. So now I am taking my little EK Success powder tool and just taking the sticky off, off my flags and putting them there to see if, uh, to see if I like them there. And I do, but I just move them around a little bit just to make them look better. I'm happy with that and I'm happy with the adventure awaits and now oh yes then I thought okay let me get a little bit of dimension for the flag so that they don't look so flat and I duly do that gave myself another thumbs up you've got to be encouraging to yourself when you know you're you're struggling ever so slightly. And yes, I sewed down there to keep them there. I did quite a bit of sewing on this layout, actually. You can see the banner strips that I wove through the paper. I sewed them as well. And I'm using a lot of the Hazelwood collection by the new company, One Canoe Two. And I've got a very, oh, I suppose you could say it's a pretty matchy-matchy color scheme going on because I've got the orangey colour and the teals or greens and the blue and I want my title to read 
I've got the adventure awaits at the top there and then I'm going to bring in an ampersand and say and you are amazing because she is I have talked about her often and no doubt I'll talk some more but she has this most amazing work ethic she's also in her final year of school so it's hard you know, she worked extremely hard last year, did really well, got the results she wanted. She's on the SRC, which is like, you know, prefix. I'm not sure what you have in whichever country you're in, but here they have an SRC, which is a student representative council. And they're the ones basically, you know, that keep the kids in line and organize things. And my gosh, is it a lot of work. I didn't realize how much work it was, but she's coping. She's good, she's great, good work ethic, uh, very dedicated, and all the rest of it, so yes. So I just wanted to do, I'm going to do, I think, quite a lot of these type of layouts this year. I want to record her final year and let her know that uh, I think she's pretty, pretty good. These hearts are exclusive to the kit. They were designed, I believe, either by Kimberly or Kim Watson, and they... Okay, they, you, you do battle a little bit to get them off the sticker sheet, I must say. But they're gorgeous, and they're just like a, a very subtle little bit of extra to your layout. And you see, I'm, I'm actually going for the very pale ones, not the, the black ones, because I don't want them to be too obvious. I just want an extra little bit to run down the page. And then I thought, hmm, those flowers are so super pretty because I felt that I needed something more on this layout. I like the basic design of it, but I like to put a lot of stuff on a page. And then I got that butterfly and the flowers, and I put it all together in a little cluster at the top there, and I thought it looked super pretty. I do faff a little bit with it, particularly with the, I have that uh, off cut of a tag, which I used on a, a different layout. And yeah, I do, I do faff a bit with that. Oh, but I cut a lot of that out. Nobody, nobody needs to watch faffing. It's really boring. <laughs> Maybe I didn't cut enough of it out. <laughs> because now you're still watching me faff. Oh dear. And I did put a little of the dimensional foam behind the butterfly to raise that. Oh, stop it, woman. There we go. Good. To raise up the wings and the arrow down there just to draw your eye to the you are amazing and then the reason why i bring in this remember this is because the adventure awaits has it's a very pretty blue and i felt i needed the blue down the bottom there and then the remember this wasn't quite uh, strong enough you know uh, design weight wasn't oh pardon me wasn't quite there so that's why i am trying to think what else i can bring down of that blue color and then i couldn't find my scissors oh it was all sorts of things I had to try and cope with with a, a rather delicate frame of mind. <laughs> so then I eventually got that under there, so I'm happy with that, and I brought in these lovely triangle enamel shapes. They are also from the One Canoe 2 collection, so that's the nice thing about these kits actually. Kimberly does an amazing job with them because she brings in a bunch of manufacturers and manages to make them coordinate just gorgeously. And if you are somebody who likes to match your colours and things, you could take, like I've done with this one, take most of the one collection that's in the kits and use that. So there we go. There's my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will join me in the Facebook forum. We are continuing with these Sketch Inspiration weekly sessions. And I am loving the fact that a lot of you are joining in with us. So thank you very much. And I will chat to you again soon. Bye bye.